Breakfast beer? Yes. Thank you. Hi guys, Tom here. I'm Eric's favorite hoarder. I decided to take an early morning walk from the house. If you can see it. Down my little hill. Focus. Down to my little creek. And sit and reflect. As you can see, my bonfire, which will be at a later date, is growing. About four and a half feet high. Gathering wood from my little creek and junk out of the water and woods is keeping me busy. One chunk at a time. This nice piece of wood here, mm, probably about five pounds. That'll go in the pile. This one here, not quite as dried out. Also in the pile. And this whopper here is well rotted, but nice and light. Let's go down to the water, shall we? I've got a little path from walking back and forth so much. And I've got a nice piece of four by eight ish. OSB board to take up the house. Maybe I'll use that on my chicken coop or in the basement. Well, listen, you hear the water? The babbling brook? Get a tire to clean out, another tire to clean out. We got another tire in there somewhere to clean out. This is all from the previous owner. I like my little path. There's my nail pile. Found a trash bag last week. It's good. There's the water. Where's that babbling coming from? Other than the neighbor's generator. Let's see if I can make it across. This one is loose, I already know. There's the babbling. Isn't it beautiful? One big step here without falling in the water. Yep. It's my babbling book. Come to relax. You stay there. Don't get any ideas jumping in that fresh water. Mm, I know you want to go. Hold on. Stay. Had to hitch up my pants. I think I'll sit right here for a moment. I'm down. Isn't this peaceful? About 7.30 in the morning. Got the water flowing. It's flowing better. I clean out more and more wood out of the water and have a, a better path of the, for the water to flow. This is so much junk been thrown in here over the years. Got a garden hose I can't seem to get out of the, the mud. <clears throat> Goes in the ground there. Oop, and come, there it is, there's the end. Eureka. We're getting somewhere. The other end of it goes under that giant rock. I don't know how long it's been under that giant rock. That's why I wear camel pants a lot. I need to wet my hands on them. Nobody knows, but there you go. I don't know if you can see over there. Let's see if I can get it in the center of the picture. Yeah, right there. That big clump is a clump of concrete, which is holding what appears to be possibly a clothesline post. So if I can get a cordless cutoff wheel down here, I can cut that metal post off. At least I can recycle the metal post. Go back to the <sighs> relaxation. Nice to have a little creek in your backyard. 
and the beer for breakfast. Mm, let's continue. Oh yeah, never mentioned this. But stay, stay. Along with my babbling book, I have all this flagstone. Nice pieces of rock, which I will probably find a use for. I haven't found any fossils or interesting things like that, but I'm sure there's something interesting I could do with these nice pieces of rock. They're not concrete. There's flagstone. We got big rocks. Smaller rocks, flat rocks. It's another hobby of mine. Maybe I could build an outdoor fire pit or something. <clears throat> Out of all these rocks one day. But again, wanted to check in and share my relaxing times. Sunday morning with my beer before I go to McDonald's for my real breakfast. Which, why? Why do I do that? Well, so I could upload the videos because where I live, I have no internet service. Upload the videos, check emails, stuff like that. Then I go on to the laundromat because I don't have a washer and dryer yet. But that's all for now. I'm not going to bore you with that nonsense. Back to the water. Peaceful water. That's all for now. Keep hoarding. Bye-bye.